Guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Game Grabs. In this episode, we are going to the Goodwill Bins, and it is a 3 o'clock rotation. Our Bins does one at two, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and then 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to jump in here and see what we can find to resell on eBay uh, in our Antique Mall booth, but also stuff for our personal collections where we like to collect 80s and 90s retro goodies and nerd stuff. So if you are into that, stick around. Let's jump into the uh, the footage here. I haven't had too much luck with uh, hockey roller skates before, but these guys, these guys look nice. So I think we're gonna take these first, then find. They're a little rough, but they're okay. These definitely look lower end. Yeah, those definitely look lower end. Okay, all right, let's keep going. When you thought you've seen every game, have you seen Shocktato? Shocktato! interesting there's a bunch of kind of nerdy stuff in this little area huh okay you're supposed to go I'll take it you can always use a sharpie interesting yeah initially i thought this was a sega sent gen 2 but it's not oh, interesting okay let's get in here I've had luck with the Sunbeam version of these little controllers, so I'm gonna grab that. Uh, otherwise, I grabbed like this little, uh, it's for like hiking or skiing or something, or I don't, I don't know, 100%. Got a little router in there. Um, we actually had a media bin in the GM, which is super weird. The only thing I managed to get was this Turtle VHS. Everything else was gone. Like everything was, everyone was around it like a, like a hawk. Um, I got this blood pressure kit as well. That's pretty much it, a random figure that I gotta look up. And then of course, another glove. So that's about it so far. Some little lighting stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing with this lighting stuff, but we're gonna look it up. I specifically remember this figure from back in the day, this Terminator figure. And I, for, I think there's a front piece that goes to it. If we can find that front piece, that would be amazing. We haven't found a Polaroid camera in a while. Um, I don't know about this particular model, but definitely willing to look this up. It looks nice. Looks like it's in good condition, so yeah, that's cool brand new baby yodas and they're two different styles okay i've never heard of the bouncy collection before but yeah all right brand new in box oh looks like a vintage projector of sorts i don't see any branding so i'm probably just gonna leave it uh camera strap all right i'll take a shot on that too i was gonna say i see playstation controller i pull playstation controller it looks like an off-brand yeah um yeah we'll just take this just because a tablet but it's pretty rough uh i mean i'm definitely curious if we can sell it for parts i'm definitely curious if we can sell it for parts uh it's, it's missing the little side piece right there and i don't know if we're gonna find the power adapter but i'm definitely curious if everything's in here on this guy, this is kind of cool. It's definitely not the normal point and shoots that we usually grab. I'm just, okay, it's too much to do with what they had. I'll, we'll, we'll update you on this. First time I've seen a fat head at the thrift. Um, this one is of Steven Jackson when he played for the Rams when they were in St. Louis. I'm going out on a limb here and saying that this is not worth it. Uh, Steven Jackson is not a notable enough player at a notable enough time in a team's history to probably be worth it. It is in there. I mean, just for laughs, I'll probably check it out. Yeah, just for laughs. Just the advertising on this is so good. Uh, this is this camera that we just pulled out here. Uh, it is from 1979, Pocket Star EFT by Bell and Howell. It looks to be in pretty good condition. We'll go ahead and look it up real quick and uh, see what the comps are like. 
I think it's just a little too old, guys. It's just a little too old. It seems like the uh, the point and shoot cameras, the film cameras that I've been finding from like the 90s that are selling really well are, are the ones. Cause like there was only seven listed and none sold on this guy. Ah, dude, like that is depressing. Yeah, seven listed, none sold. So yeah, that's, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I misspelled it. Let's see. Let's see if my misspelling actually will turn this around. Nope, still no exact matches. So, unfortunately, as cool as this thing is, it is going bad. Man, it's kind of the same thing with this Polaroid camera. I know some Polaroids can go for really good money, but there was a ton listed under this name. And of course, they're not all the ex this exact model, but just, I mean, this exact model was just not comping out. I mean, this is a good, like, four to five pounds. So we're going to be weighing, or, you know, it's going to be weighing us down for sure. It's going to definitely cost us probably a good seven to eight bucks. I'm not feeling it, guys. The comps were, like, between, like, 12 and 20 pretty much. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw this one back and let somebody else take a gamble on it. So it looked like these tablets actually are supposed to come with a keyboard, which there was nothing in sight for that. Um, this one did sell for $46 uh, for parts only. Another one sold for 20 with 11 parts only. I mean, I, the screen protector actually did really good, a really good job uh, on this guy because, hold on, where did I peel it back at? There we go. Like the screen protector did really good. It doesn't really have too many blemishes like even that's a little protective coating that we could just peel off and the screen will probably be fine on it um i'm just trying to think about like some personal projects that i could do with it some like raspberry pi like display type stuff with it and just buy a power adapter off ebay for like 10 bucks and then i'll have like a nice cool tablet that's kind of what i'm thinking with it um if not we just sell for parts i haven't really been picking up any hockey stuff uh kind of like what i said with the skates down there but I found these Bauer gloves uh, a bin down from those uh, skates, and they look, they're looking pretty dang good um, in, in condition-wise. Uh, the comps were okay. There was only one pre-owned listed with four sold, so over 100% sell-through. Uh, there was 40 with a uh, breast offer with 11, uh, 25 free, 30 with 15, and 25 with 7. So I'm thinking, like, if we can't sell them on eBay before the winter is over, which winter is, is going to close here pretty quickly. Uh, we'll just hang on to them, and next year we'll either try to sell them or we'll just take them to Play It Again Sports. I know Play It Again will give me a few bucks for these for sure. All right, this little controller, this uh, Cheval little controller thing, kind of like the, uh, the Sunbeam ones that we've been picking up, like I said earlier. Uh, this exact model had two listed pre-owned and 16 sold, so well over 100% sell-through rate. Uh, 25 free, 25 with 11, 29 best offer accepted with 9, 25 free, 24 best offer, 25 free, uh, 15 with 8, 17 best, 15 with 8, 5 with 9, 25 free, 25 free, 29 best offer. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking all day, uh, net $20 bill on this guy for sure. It's going to be easy to list, um, easy to ship, all that good stuff. So yeah pretty stoked about that little pickup be on the lookout for these guys i mean i think people sleep on these little controllers i forget what exactly they're for it's like some some sort of like health product right like some sort of blanket or massaging thing or i can't remember so but anyway be on the lookout because they all have like these similar style plugins like that so on these these vector pf2 uh roller hockey skates uh, two listed, two sold. So exactly 100% sell through rate. They did sell earlier uh, in the or last year uh, in, in December, but there was 68 best offer accepted with 14 and 50 with 16 in shipping. And those look to be close to like the same condition that mine are in. Um, again, I think these are kind of the same thing as the gloves. We're going to try to clean them up and sell them. I don't know what season they play roller hockey in. I really don't. Uh, it could be spring it could not be spring i'm not 100 percent sure but we're gonna clean these up and if they don't sell by i don't know sometime in the spring uh we can try to uh, take them to play it again uh same thing with the gloves we'll just take them at the same time this is the surprise of the day guys the shock tato um there was 
I think 18 brand new listed. This is brand new, it's, it's sealed. I didn't even realize that it was sealed, but uh, 18 listed, six sold, so not the greatest sell-through rate, but the comps are looking pretty solid. Uh, 33 free, 42, or yeah, 42 free, 39 best offer accepted, 39.99 free, 25 with 11, 24 best offer. So like, I'm, <laughs> it might take a little while to sell, uh, but if we if we price it competitively, like uh, this will yeah this will go pretty well. All right, it turns out these are actually Disney branded, which is good for us because this exact one. I mean, we're just gonna go through these really quick. There's a ton of sold comps, but this exact one on the left here went for twelve bucks free shipping, and then the one on the right has gone for fourteen dollars with five fifty in shipping. Up oh, there's a there's the one on the left again again for fifteen to ten. So. We'll do great. I think we'll just probably just bundle these together and sell them for like 25 or something, 25, 30 or whatever. Guys, the nostalgia is flowing. I had this figure and I was exactly on the money. It is Terminator. It's the battle damaged uh, by Kenner. It's so cool, but I had exactly this. I remember even the little gun with it too. Um, unfortunately because it doesn't have the front like it's not really going to comp out to that much uh I, i'm going to keep it just because uh there were some other like interesting figures in here that kind of were cool there's some like star wars in there there's this guy which looked older i don't know I'll, I'll go ahead and take a shot on whatever's in here just because um but this was what i wanted to talk about the most this thing is just oh it's straight literally straight out of my childhood this is amazing um I don't think we really need to talk about much more, guys. Uh, there's some bread and butter items in here. There's a keepsake ornament that we can add to our pile that we need to list. Uh, just a good $12 to $15 net gear router right there. Uh, I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep this strap. Uh, probably not, probably not. Uh, I'm probably gonna throw the strap back, but we have a team and we have this one but this will just go into the booth or whatever um canon charger was always good to have two sony remotes right here uh personal item there personal item over there uh the only thing we didn't talk about were these lights these uh these are by a company called um lighting trends and they do like a bunch of like car light modification add-ons um they're just like an incomplete kit that i might try to just throw up because they're super light I'm just gonna throw them up on eBay and see what happens. Like if they sell, they sell, if they don't, they don't, whatever. Like they're super light. We're not very much into them. I just saw some kits though that were very expensive though on there. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this haul guys. Let's go ahead and get checked out. All right, back at the trash taxi. We have 2391 as a grand total today. I'm curious to see if we can take the skates and the gloves down to play it again tomorrow and see what they give us i mean we don't have to accept their offer but just to see what they'll give us on it i think i think it's worth a shot because we got to go we got to go get some games resurfaced anyway so that's kind of one of our favorite things to do is go down to play it again and then go down the street basically i say go down the street as a loose term it's like a couple miles but go down and go to get or uh, go to trading games and get some games resurfaced for resale on ebay um but uh, yeah i'm just i'm very curious obviously the shock potato is uh probably the, the 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 sleeper in this whole entire little haul so yeah not too bad for just over 20 bucks
I just wanted to add this little tidbit in a in a video, guys, but because uh, this happened yesterday, I, I listed this yesterday or the day before, and I found it in this backpack in the front uh, in the front case. I think it was in this one actually, and uh, I was super surprised. I was like, "What the heck is this thing?" I was about to throw it away because I was just like, "Eh, just some other some like basic charger." And I'm glad I went ahead and looked it up because it sold for a pretty decent amount. But I thought that was really neat to, uh, you know, just find something like that uh, hidden. So be sure to uh, check the pockets of stuff that you get. Also, let me know what kind of cool stuff you found in pockets of items that you've thrifted.